Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within. Now last time we chased a muton around a map for an enormously large amount of time, and we managed to capture him in the end. So we have our plasma weapons research credit, one of the other research is down. There are plenty more enemies for us to capture though. We've got a satellite uplink coming ready in three days, an outsider shard in four, our foundry in six, and more satellites in nine. So lots of interesting things coming up in the next little while. India is panicking because we didn't help them previously, but that should be fine. We should have plenty of satellites to help deal with that problem anyway. Let's see if we can get our satellite uplink done. Here we go. Ah. Our intelligence sources ah. indicate that a previously unknown organization mm. is attempting to undermine XCOM field operations. We believe this group harbors some misguided sympathies for the invaders and is intent on acquiring alien technology and artifacts critical to your efforts. Early reports indicate this organization calls itself Exalt. We trust you will isolate the source of this new threat and eliminate it. Commander, the Council has provided oh some additional resources to help us deal with these traitors. We can begin scanning for additional Exalt cell locations and launch covert operations to disrupt their activity via the Situation Room. Exalt is here. So Exalt can do some problems. The thing about Exalt is that they do things when they appear. This time we get one for free. But after this, they have a tendency to steal your money, give you research delays, or cause panic in the countries that their cells appear in. So they can give you some serious trouble. What we're going to do here is we're going to send one of our uh, units to go deal with this problem and go to the Situation Room. Here's it says, Exalt is a new global threat. They will carry out anti-XCOM operations until we find their base and destroy them. Exalt operates within cells. Initiating covert ops missions, we can in neutralize individual cells, which will give us intel we need to find their base. We can scan if we have 50 credits. It'll tell us where all the uh, nearby scan cells are. We're going to send in a covert op. We choose a single soldier to infiltrate Exalt and they will get us a bunch of information. The thing about them is they can only use pistols, which is why we've been giving all of our snipers the gunslinger ability. Giving them additional pistol damage is always nice. So we are going to continue here. We're not sending you, we're sending... Where are you? Longbow. Ramen, this is your time. We have prepared you for this mission. You have been trained. I think you just got Gunslinger in time for this. Yes, you did. I'm giving you the spare scope, so you have extra accuracy. You're taking your pistol, because we have nothing better. But you will be the man for this job. Raman, do good work. Send the operative on the mission. There we go. So he's heading off to Japan. That'll be good. Eventually, we'll be able to go in and extract him. It should show up on the map, or on the timer. Yep, six days, so it'll be before the council report, so that'll be good. But it'll take a while for that to actually happen, so until then, let's scan, get our satellite uplink completed. There we go. Carry on. Let's see if we can get our Outsider Shard science done. Yes, we can. The Outsider Shard has been researched. Chunk. I like how they rotate it, even though there's nothing there to rotate into, but whatever. <laughs> and now we find where the secret base is. This is what we've been waiting for. We need that global panic reduction. Tactical. Do we have an eagle over these coordinates? Recon satellite Delta-2 is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Nothing. No. That's impossible. I know it's there. Switch to thermal. Hello. Give me subsurface. Subsurface. We do some gotcha. wobbles on screen to get you a perfect map. Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. Well, we're gonna have I'm to go sure in there, we'll <sighs> unleash enough. the psychic enemies, but uh, okay, we found it. Now, how we do we get it. inside? I thought you'd never ask. We can turn the outsider into a skeleton key. Outsider shard research complete. Assign new research. Build a skeleton key and assault the alien base. 
Analysis of the alien shard has revealed that it is indeed organic in nature, although not alive per se. Somehow, it continues to resonate with a specific range of electromagnetics of the electromagnetic spectrum. Despite several attempts at disabling the alien known as the Outsider, each was met with the same result, the target dematerializing within an instant. With no explanation for this phenomenon, the research team was left with little to study in terms of the Outsider itself. However, having now analyzed this shard, it seems that may not be the case. In an effort to produce an, any potential interference from known to reduce, not produce, to reduce any potential interference from known terrestrial signals, we place the shard into the harmonic dampening chamber, a device conceived of by Dr. Shen. With that side noise brought to a minimum, it took little effort to distinct, detect a very distinct signal, the source of our shard's hum. While we have a number of theories, both the research and engineering team seem to be in agreement. The shard is acting at some form of communications relay. Although purely speculative, we've also considered the possibility that the outsider itself is merely an extension of the shard and its function. Dr. Shen believes with sufficient time, he may be able to develop a device or key that mimics the shard itself, giving us a means to locate the source of the signal. Da -da -da -da! Skeleton keys available. We need one of them. I guess the next thing we're going to do is research big laser guns. I'd like to get the plasma weapons. I think we want heavy lasers, though, at the moment. I don't know, though. There's a bunch of things in here. We're still at super slow timing. We'll finish this research, because we already started it. We got our alien nav computers done. And beyond that, we come in here. We need to buy ourselves a skeleton key. To that facility. 21 credits is all it takes. Some alien, alien, some alien alloys. Outside a shard. Yep, I'm done. The device of this culmination... <laughs> the device is this... Bleh, words. I can't speak them. This device is the culmination of our research into the shard recovered from the alien outsider. It should allow our troops to infiltrate the alien base and find out what's inside. Manufacture that sucker. Done. So, that is good. Now we can actually get this game moving. Our plot will actually get going here. I could make some things like laser weapons, and we have the technology. Laser pistols might be good for those missions, but I think we're not going to worry about those for now. We don't have much money left anyway. We can, however, do the all-important alien base assault now. That'll give us a global panic reduction, which will help a lot by reducing our panic situation here, and will probably allow us to afford to put our satellites into Egypt and South Africa, as well as one of these other panicking locations, because they'll all be reduced by, I think, two slots, which is pretty solid. We won't be home free yet. We have a lot of problems here with our panic situation, but it will make things better. So, we are going to go back... Do we have... We only get three new satellites, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to get a satellite nexus, but that won't happen just yet. So, I guess the thing to do is go take on that uh, alien base. That's our job. Can we afford to put any money into other things to give us a better chance here? 23 credits. I could go for lead by example, get that will bonus. That would probably be a good idea, since there's going to be psychic enemies in the upcoming area. We're going to try and capture them, of course, but we want to try and get ourselves a bit of an edge before we get there. Sell a floater corpse. Done. That'll let us go into the barracks, officer training school, and buy a lead by example. Purchase. Confirm. Our people are, our people are all pretty high ranked now, but uh, having that little bonus there. Like, we have how much will? You have 72 will, you have 62 will, 62, 62... 61, 61. So everyone gets to benefit then from Reynolds's will. So it'll all be 10 will higher, which will make them harder to take down. He has... Ooh! 98 plus 10 aim. I like that. He's not gonna miss much. Shapira, you're... Yeah, you guys are pretty solid. You guys are pretty solid here. I like it. So, we're gonna head back. One issue about the mech troopers is that they're kind of susceptible to psi attacks. Their will tends to be kind of low. Now it's buffed from something. But yeah, their, their will tends to be kind of low, which is not very good. So they're pretty easy to take over, which can cause some pretty serious problems later on down the line. But hopefully we won't have to deal with those. We are just going to go try and take out the alien base. So here we go. Alien base assault. Let's do this thing. Go. Who are we sending? Well, we're sending the, the go team again. We don't really have uh, any other soldiers who'd be worth sending on this mission. We need to send the heavy guns. So Reynolds, Hunter, Becker, Krause, Patil, and Shapira, this is your moment of glory, gentlemen. You know what? I might change their colors first. I'm going to take a look at that, and then we'll come right back. There we go. Changed our colors up a little bit. Our soldiers now have a black and white color scheme. We also changed Max's armor, so he has this, like, heavy plating, which is the alternate option for Carapace. And it actually just, like, sits over his normal armor, so it's really enormous. But since he's a heavy, it seemed appropriate to me. It's the bomb squad outfit, practically. And I changed Becker to blue instead of black, because she mixed in with the rest of the squad too much. And I like my mechs to stand out a little bit. So, there we go. We have our new squad colors. Let's get in there and put them to work. It's all about just looking pretty there, guys. 
Now, this mission is going to be hard, most likely. There are a lot of nasty things to be found here. But we should be able to crush our way through them pretty effectively with what we've got. We are still wearing the worst possible weapons, to be fair. But we've we been making do despite that for a while now. So let's get in there and do what we can. Begin our assault here. Thanks to Dr. This Rollins base research, is a nasty place. Developments down in engineering. This skeleton key should allow you to breach the alien compound. We've only got one chance to make this work, though. <sighs> So let's make sure we do it right. Let's get in there. Gotta take down that alien base. This is actually one of my favorite new changes to the intro. Our four human, regular, regular soldiers will drop in here on ropes, all stealthy-like. They got their guns ready, they look around carefully. What do they see? Not a lot yet, just terrible pods. God only knows what they're doing. All the more reason to blow him to hell. Get moving. And then just to show you how stealthy we are, the robots smash into the floor. So far we don't have visual confirmation. <laughs> nice done, guys. Hostiles. Nicely done. I wouldn't get too comfortable. All right. We're there is a little resistance. A little They're room over there. Into position as we speak. A little room over there. We're probably going to go up the right-hand side because this is the layout I am used to like last time, and I like coming in through this side. Not that it really makes any difference, but I like it, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to send a mover and shaker first. Congo! You're going to head right up there and see what you see. Actually, you're going to head right over here, maybe. Right up ahead. Book it up there. What do you see? Well, it looks like we found where they've been taking the abductees. But Tons that still of doesn't people. explain what the purpose of all this is. All right. Well, do we see anything over here? Not yet. There might still be something over there, but nothing we can see, so that's fine. We're going to send Avi up out. there. Get over there, Mach. There you are. Let's see. Reynolds, where are we going to put you? I'm just going to stick you out in the open here, because there's probably nothing bad going to happen to you. Yet. You're going to chill out there. Good. Kraus. Kraus. You're going to come over to this side, and we'll send our mechs up there. We can move up on the door nice and careful like. So, Becker, you're gonna move over to here. Order nope, confirmed. not there. Whatever. Close enough. Camera jilted over there for a second before I could click. I wanted to put her in the right space, but whatever. That one's fine. And Patil, you're not gonna be able to run quite that far, so you're gonna dash up this way too. Alright, what are we up against? Probably some sectoids and floaters, maybe even a cyber disc, who knows? That sounded like something floating. We're going to send our crew up to the door, though. Let's turn. Do you see anything, Hunter? Well, obviously not. Door's closed. Let's keep moving up, and then we'll maybe be able to do something after that. Kraus, you can move to there. We'll set up our uh, door opening pattern. Let's see. Becker, you're going to stand Heading here for there. now. There you go. We're going to send Minerva. That's a Minerva. We're going to send uh, Disco over On this way. And over there, Patil. We have to break through this door. We're going to make sure we do it in the most stylish way possible. So, Shapira, you're going to head into that central space, and then our sniper's going to stand behind you. You can overwatch there, just in case anything crazy happens. And Reynolds, stand right there for me, friend. There we go. And you're going to overwatch as well. We're going to open up this door next turn. Everyone's just going to overwatch if they still have a movement. Since we're not going to open the door when only half of our players can do anything. Especially now we're standing open like this. That sounded like chrysalids. Open the door, Kraus. What are we up against? Kraus, what's in there? Seekers. Oh, nasty. All right, where's the chrysalids? Because they're bound to be in here too. Yeah, they do stealth and fly away. You saw them hit through the window there. All right, Kraus, you're gonna run into here. To that location. Excellent. You're gonna overwatch in case those guys pop up all of a sudden. Becker, you're going to run over Get next door, and you're going to overwatch in case those guys pop up all of a sudden. There's probably chrysalids on the other walkway, since we didn't see them, but we heard them earlier. But still, you're going to come in here, and you're going to overwatch as well. We're now blocking the way, which is unfortunate, but it should be okay for now. We're going to send Hunter through as well. You're going to stand right command. there and block the way even more. Overwatch. The other thing is, there's no... Uh, there's no meld in this level, so I can go slow as I feel like it. Not that I really want to go super slow, but when there's Seekers around, it generally benefits you to not rush. And you're gonna overwatch too. A little pod like this, we should melt the first Seeker that we see. Where are you, Seeker? Come at me. There you are! And everyone melts you! 
He took 14 damage there, at the very least. Yep, 14 damage. That's pretty solid. He had 5 health. <laughs> That'll do the trick. Unfortunately, he used up a ton of ammo, but whatever, we'll make do. We're going to move Becker up to here, and we might trigger some chrysalids. That's why I'm moving our robot first. Nope, nothing. Okay, you're going to overwatch again. We're going to send Patil up next. You're going to stand over here, and you're going to overwatch. It's too bad we could... Oh, there they are. That's drones. Never mind. I thought that was chrysalids. Never mind. That's drones. Okay, that's a lot easier to deal with. You can actually take a shot across at them. 62% chance to hit isn't great, but you might do it anyway. No, you did not do it anyway. Now you have no ammo left. Almost awesome. Alright, we're going to take Reynolds. Reynolds, you're going to run over to this Roger low that. cover, and you're going to try and take a shot over there. It gives you a high cover bonus anyway, because you're awesome like that. Take the shot. 88% chance to hit, to hit. That should be a dead drone. Can't see his body in the way, but you missed anyway. Alright. The black guns are kind of cool, too. I can't actually move you there safely, unfortunately, Krause. I'd move you there anyway, though. You're going to stand out in the open. You're going to overwatch. You can shoot at them, though, can you? 35% chance. Ah, that's a terrible chance to hit. Let's see. Who else can we move here with? Hunter can move. Hunter, I can dash you. I'm not quite oh, to yeah. cover. That's unfortunate. You're going to come around here and take a shot since you actually can aim a little bit better. At a longer range. 72% chance to hit. It's much more reasonable. You're not going to kill him, though, because he has 5 health, and you can do a maximum of 4. Shapira, you're going to move around this I'm way. You should be able to kill someone here, because you have heat ammo, so your minimum damage should basically kill him. So take the shot. You better kill this guy. If you hit him, which you didn't. Alright, Klaus, you're going to try and kill that one. Go for it. And you hit him? Wow, I'm impressed. I was not expecting anything from you there. So the drone is probably going to take a snipe at somebody from a million miles away. I can't see him, though. You might get chrysalid swarmed soon, because I hear them, but I don't see them. So he's hiding. That's fine. There's still a seeker somewhere. No, don't shoot. I'm trying to move. That was weird. All right, we're going to move with Becker first. Becker is going to move right around the corner to here and see what happens. Open fire. Nope, floaters. I was expecting chrysalids. Okay, that's interesting. Where'd the, where'd the drone go? Lots of weird stuff going on here. Take a shot at one of them. You have a 55% chance of him. Go for that shot. Looks like you hit him. That is a dead floater. Fantastic. Alright, we'll send... Who goes next? Reynolds? Reynolds, you're already pretty damn high rank. You can hang out for a while. We'll get Patil to come around. She might not shoot just yet, though. I want to give my chances to the other people still. She has to reload anyway. Never mind. Reload there, Patil. Excellent. So, next up will be Hunter, I think. Hunter, you're going to move down to this cover over here and take a shot at that guy. Not revive. You're taking a shot. 42% chance to hit is not that you critical him and he died. Very nice. I wasn't expecting anything there. All right. We're going to move up with Mac. You're going to overwatch. You can't overwatch. You're going to reload. Never mind. Good to go. Reynolds, you're going to move up as well, and you're going to overwatch. I'm expecting the other Seeker to attack us this turn. We'll see if I'm right or incorrect. And Krause, you're going to run into the center here. Go, Krause. And you're going to overwatch. Done. If we hit by a Seeker, he'll probably die. There's another enemy over there somewhere. Probably the drone we saw earlier. He's hiding there? There he is. Close combat specialist goes off, and Krause gets a reaction shot, leaving him with one health. Phenomenal. Now somebody else should get a reaction shot now. No? Oh. No, the other person who was going to get a reaction shot has an alien on their head. Alright. Camera. Thank you. And Kraus. You might kill him. Do we get you to kill him or do we get Hunter to kill him? Hunter could kill him. Go for it, Hunter. Take your last shot against this guy. Kill that bear seeker. There we go. That is a dead enemy. That means that Reynolds will be getting his breath back this turn, trying not to suffocate horribly, which means we're going to chill out here for a little while. Uh, I think we're going to move up a little bit with Becker. No, Becker has no ammo. Becker's not going anywhere. Reload, Reload there, Becker. <laughs> Patil's going to move up. Move. See if she can see that drone. Still can't see it, so she's going to overwatch. I want to come through this door again, which is why I'm trying not to move forward Building too far. Shapira's going to get to cover. I want to know where those chrysalids I'm hearing are coming from. I'm going to reload with Kraus. Back online. There you go, Krause. And let's see what we see. There's the drone moving. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Alright, not a lot to see here. I guess we just move on. Maybe he went through the door or something, because apparently they could phase through doors without opening them. Opening them. Let's get ready to breach this doorway. Shapira, there you go. Let's get everyone into door breaching positions. 
There you go, Becker. We'll send a till as well. These were the doors where I found out that if you put a mech directly next to them, you just see through them and it triggers enemies on the other side. <laughs> Maybe I'll see if we can show that off afterwards, but it was a weird thing. Alright, Reynolds, you're gonna chill out. You took two damage from the suffocation, which is not good, but you're gonna reload here before we go through the door. There we go. You're gonna overwatch there, Krause. Becker's going to overwatch as well. Anybody who still has ammo in their guns, full ammo, is going to reload. Anyone who doesn't is going Moving to spend their... Position. What am I trying to say? Anyone who has full ammo in their guns is going to overwatch. Anyone who doesn't is going to spend their turn reloading, so we actually have some ammo for next time. Looks like that's us all reloaded, though. If anything comes at us this turn, it's going to get a sore, sore greeting. Quiet. Enemy over there now. Okay. Open the door. What are we looking at? Nothing. Alright, we have to come around this way first. To be fair, I should have expected that, because that's how this section Moving. always goes, but that's fine. Head around this way, Krause. Nothing yet. Alright, we're going to send Hunter in, because Hunter can dash all the way around to the side I'm of this, which will give us a bit of better angle around this way. Still nothing to be seen. That's fine. He's going to overwatch there. Like I said, we have no reason to rush here, so we're going to take plenty Step of time. Shapiro's going to head around this way, which might trigger something. No, we're still good. Reynolds, you're going to move over to there. We are trying to be careful here while still being somewhat aggressive. As much as I like being able to take advantage of yes, the high-speed gameplay with meld in it, it's nice to be able to be careful in an important mission like this every once in a while. But till you're going to move up as well, and there'll be a dash for you too. There we go. Kraus is now the only one who has still got an action left, and I'm just going to overwatch with you in case anything crazy happens. Like suddenly chrysalids will spawn next to us or something. So I can hear them moving! Still don't see them, but I still hear them moving. So, we're going to take Hunter this time. He can move the furthest, and he's going to dash right around this corner to that aye piece aye. of cover. What do we see here? Nothing. Where are all the enemies? There was a drone in here, wasn't there? I thought there was. Strange. Alright, Mac, you're going to come around this way. Uh-oh. We spotted some more floaters. There's just a lot of floaters right now. Alright, Mac can take a shot at the floaters. Can you hit any of them? 51% chance. Might as well try. Go for it, Mac. Eh, nope. Nothing this time. That's fine, though. There'll be other chances. We're going to send Reynolds up to this wall here. You might be able to see them from there. Nope, but he can overwatch from here, which is the important thing. Might actually hit... No, we, we have enemies. We'll, we'll overwatch. I was going to say, I might throw a battle scanner down here so we can see what's down there before we get there. But this is probably still the best now. choice of action right now. Krause, you're going to come over this way. You're going to also just chill out here for a little bit. I want to send our mechs up. So, Becker, you're going to come up to this way. You should be able to take a shot at them, I think. No, still no shot for you either. You're going to overwatch then. And Patil, you're going to come up behind. And you're also going to overwatch. I could have moved you forward, but I don't want to go down this hill yet until we deal with these guys, if we can help it. So we'll overwatch there. And Hunter... You're not in a very good position anymore, are you? I'm going to dash you over this way, so you're not going to get flank shot immediately. There we go. Let's see what happens here. And there's the drone. Well, someone's going to get a shot at it. Becker takes her reaction shot. And kills a drone. Beautiful. It was exactly the right amount of damage to do. Nailed him. I'm down for that. Alright. And you're going to get shot now. Hopefully you get killed. Reynolds and Patil get a chance to murder this one. And Patil gets it. Reynolds misses. Oh no, Reynolds looks like he hit too. He just was too slow to actually deal damage. And the other one, what are you going to do? Are you going to come in nice and close and let, uh, let us shoot you too? Nope, you're running away. Okay, good to know. So, Reynolds, you are going to lob us a battle scanner. This battle scanner is going to come right down here. And show us what is ahead. What's Scans down there? What could they possibly ah. be storing in those tanks? Doesn't matter. The important thing... Come on, camera. Is that there are two more floaters over there we haven't encountered yet. There's just a bazillion floaters in these games recently. This is weird. I'm not used to seeing this many floaters. So we know what's up. That's fine. We're going to head down the stairwell a little bit with Becker. We shouldn't trigger those guys I'm up the stairs the just yet. Weapons free. Oh, no. We triggered more floaters. This is the weirdest thing. It's like all they can do is field floaters. I've never seen this before. That's just weird. Well, take a shot up at him. See if you can't kill that one off. No, you can't kill that one off. Okay. 
But like, My there's just been nothing but floaters here. Floaters and drones. Like, like the Seekers, Move but like, in. the majority of their force is floaters. Alright, you're gonna take a shot up. 52% chance. Take the shot. Please hit him. You're out of ammo again. Oh, guys, your aim is really bad. Alright, Hunter. I'm gonna move you. I could take a rocket shot with Shapira. That would kill two of them at least. But it would also destroy a bunch of the things I'm trying to gather, so that's not very good. We don't want to destroy very much of this stuff if we can help it. Like, that one might be a good shot, because we can kill them before they even get a turn. And I think all we destroy is a bit of cover. So that's probably what we're going to do with this rocket. Shapira's going to murder Rockets two robots away. who don't even know we're here yet. Two floaters who don't even know we're here yet. Boop, they're dead. Problem solved. <laughs> they never got a chance. But yeah, this is some weird stuff going on here. So we're going to take Kraus. We're going to run up with her. We're going to run and gun this turn. Going in for the kill. Right down to this cover. And you're going to take a shot out. at one of them. Hopefully you can actually hit them from this range. I might try and rapid fire if you have a decent accuracy at any of them. 61 on him. That's not that's not too bad. Rapid fire puts it down to 46, though. That's still better. 246s is better than 161. Go for it. First shot misses. Second shot, extra misses. Alright, that was a waste of ammo. And Hunter, you're gonna move around to nowhere. There's nowhere good to put you. That's unfortunate. Alright, you're gonna move over one tile then, and I guess you're gonna overwatch, because I can't do anything else with you this turn. Yeah, I can't I can't easily move you down that hill because there's nowhere to cover to put you, and apparently that isn't safe either, because all these guys are approaching us. So, shots coming in, shots fired. Ouch, four damage on one mech. That's not good. We have three more enemies to shoot at us this turn, most likely. Please miss some shots. I don't want to lose a mech here. We have now lost eight health on Becker. Please don't kill Becker. She is down to four health. That is really bad. And he moves up and tries to kill Becker. Please miss. Thank goodness. That really hurt. Really, really. <laughs> Look at that. That's ridiculously painful. All right. Hunter, you're going to run down the stairs and you're going to immediately heal Becker. Thank goodness the heals work on the mechs. Heal Becker. Yes, please. She needs on, that health real bad. She's going to be wounded after this fight for sure. I haven't had a mech be wounded in ages. Wow. Reynolds, your cover is gone. I think. Yep, looks destroyed to me. Let's see. I'm going to try and get forward in here and do as much as I can. So we're going to turn the camera so I can actually click the people I'm trying to click. There we go. Patil, you have no ammo left, but that's fine. I'm going to try and do something a bit more drastic with you. You're going to run right over here. And you're going to flamethrower that sucker. It's going to try... We're going to try and not destroy the storage pods if we can, because those do give us money later. But they might go down. We might lose a whole bunch of them, actually. Can we hit two? Mm, no. That's unfortunate. Let's back up here for a second. If I change targets, if I change to Becker and move all the way forward, can she burn both of them from here? That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles away. I think they'd be safe from that. I'm gonna move you up anyway, Becker. It's crazy, but I'm doing it anyway. If you flamethrower, can you hit more than one of those guys? You can hit two of them like this. That's definitely worth it. Flamethrower there. We're probably gonna lose both of these canisters, which is unfortunate. But we did kill those guys off pretty safely. We can reload this. As long as we can kill more of these guys, I'm not going to complain about that. Let's see. Kraus. Actually, can you see anything, Reynolds? Not anymore. So Reynolds is going to have to move down the hill. This could be bad. We're moving a lot of people out of cover. Reynolds, you're going to take a shot. You need to kill that guy. Otherwise, we are at a significant disadvantage here. Please do. Thank you. There we go. That is a dead floater. That is good news. So Kraus... You're going to move up as well. You're going to move up just out into the open, because I can't afford to put you into cover. That's really dumb. What about our heavy? Can you do anything about this? Shapira, if I move you down, you probably won't even be able to see him, will you? Let's try. If I move you down to here, what can you see? Can you grenade that cover out? You can see him. That's good. You can take a shot then. I might suppression with you, but I'm just going to try and shoot, because if I can blow up the cover, that's good. If I can do damage, that's good. Didn't do either of those things. This is now getting into a very nasty-looking situation. We're going to get close. Moving to position. I'd love to run and gun, but I can't. So we're going to rapid fire him. 66% chance to hit. Try and kill him. Thank you. Oh, really? We only did damage. And we killed him with a second shot. Thank goodness for rapid fire. That could have been really bad. Thankfully it wasn't. There are still chrysalids moving around somewhere. These pods are about to burn up. Very sad. That's lost resources there. 
I'm gonna move you up to no, not reload. I'm going to move you up to Cutting here, out. and then reload. Reloaded. We're going to reload again with Becker in a second. Disco is going to move up Position to here. Confirmed. Maybe become cover. Yeah, you're going to become cover. Providing cover at my location. Now, Hunter is going to run up and heal Becker again, because we have more health to give. Where are you? You are on the side there. I can't click on you, though, for some reason. Hunter, there you are. Hunter, you're going to run over this way and you're going to heal up Becker because we do not want her to be going into any more fights and missing six health. So do, a, do another heal there. There you go. I can't yeah, wait until we get some more powerful there. healing abilities here. There we go. And Shapira, you're going to run up as aye, well. Aye, you're not going to run too far though because you want to reload. There we go. Same with Reynolds. Reynolds, you're going to run up to here, and you're going to reload. No one's actually going to be taking advantage of this cover, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to set them to Overwatch Reloaded. instead. Reload the minigun, thank Reloading you very much. Weapons. And Patil, you're going to set to Overwatch instead. There we go. Sadly, those two pods did burn, but I think that was worth not having two more shots coming at us that turn. Since we only just barely managed to kill them all. Now let's see, I think we're going to move up here. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of cover to use, so we're probably going to be using our mechs for this. Move up there, Becker, and see what you see. Eyes on there are the chrysalids. Okay, we found them. We should be able to mow these guys down before they get to do anything, especially since they run so fast at us. We can flamethrow them again if we have to. The flamethrower is super effective against these guys. It does puts them down to really low health and panics them. But, if at all possible, I'd rather not destroy all the... Sur the uh, all the environment again. I'm gonna run up nice and close with the till. There we go. She might actually be able to throw the flamethrower between those two things, which would be pretty cool. It looks like they'd still burn, though. Probably. We'll see if we can kill them without having to do that, and then we'll see what else we can get going here for us. Krause, you're gonna run right over to there, and you're gonna take a point-blank shot at them. I think that's all of them, is it? Just two? Just two, okay. We can't capture these guys, so we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna try and blow them up. Go, Klaus. Two shots to the face should kill this guy, no problem, unless you get a really bad damage roll. There we go. That is one dead one. Let us bring over some more people to kill the others. Reynolds, you're going to move over this way. You're not going to take a shot first, though. I'll let somebody else do it, because you already leveled up and passed most of our team. I'm rolling. Mac, you're going to take the shot. Come up to there. Take the shot. 83% chance to hit. Do some damage. There we go. Five damage hit. That's pretty solid. And we'll let Hunter try and get the kill here. I'm rolling. If we can. Hunter, take your shot. You should have 83% or 91%. That's even better. Kill him, please. There we go. Three damage. Just what we needed. It's another dead chrysalid. Now we don't have to burn any more of these pods. Now, Reynolds, you're going to move over to this side, and we'll be able to keep moving up after that. Looking pretty good here, though. Looking pretty good. And Minerva, you're going to overwatch. There we go. Patil, you're also going to overwatch. There we go. What else is going on now? This is going to be probably a very long episode, but I'm okay with that. We're just going to let it run. I'm going to finish this whole base assault today, if I can help it. I'm on the Get over there, Disco. What's ahead? Thin men. I kind of want to capture one of those if we could, but they're really far away, and they're not going to come any closer, so we're just going to gun them down. There'll be plenty of opportunities to capture Thin Men during the next council mission, no doubt. So, we're going to try and bring our people up here. Klaus, you're going to head over to that pod. You actually can see an enemy. Okay, can you shoot them? 37. Go for it. Odds are low, but you might be able to do it anyway. Nope, not this time. That's fine, though. Damn it, Wasn't expecting alive. too much from you. Alright, Minerva. Are you going to head over here? Can you see any of them? You can! Fantastic. Can you shoot any of them? 55% chance on both. Go for a shot. And you missed wildly. That's fine. You'll move up again. I'm surprised Patil can't see them, but whatever. Let's see. If we take... Shapira, they can get over to I'm here. Can Shapira see any of them from here? Yes, they can. Alright, what do you have? 51% chance? Go for the same target, I guess. Why not? And you got him! We like to see that is a dead thin man. Reynolds, you're gonna move up to the pod here. You're probably not gonna have any line of sight because of this wall, but maybe you will. No, you can see him. Alright, take the shot then. 78% chance to hit. Can you kill him? You might not kill him even if you hit him. He didn't hit him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, Hunter's the last person left who can still move. What are we going to do with you, Hunter? I kind of wish I could get you with some cover, but there's not a whole lot of cover left anymore. In fact, there is cover left. Patil, one for all, thank you very much. 
There we go, and you're just gonna chill out there. Now Hunter can move up behind you. Right there, into the high cover. There we go. And take the shot. 62% chance to hit. Can you kill him? Nope, you can't even hit him. At least you're in cover now, so you're okay. There we go. And that's all. We're gonna end our turn. Thin Man's probably gonna shoot someone. We'll see. Contacts are attempting to retreat. Who are you shooting? Shooting at Becker again. Jeez, these guys hate Becker today. I'm gonna have to give Becker some more health because I can do that since we have one more charge in our healing items. But jeez, these guys hate Becker. All right. I'm gonna try and not use Kraus because she needs to reload if she can help it. Reynolds doesn't really. Uh, there's no one who I really want to use right now. Mac, can you hit the shot? Everyone's gonna have to reload after this anyway, I guess. It doesn't really matter. You hit him, but you didn't kill him. Nice try. Out of rounds. Now you have no ammo left, so you can spend the second half of your turn reloading. It's there we time. go. Reynolds might do it. I kind of want Becker to do it, though. So, Becker, you're going to come over this way. And this you're going to take the shot from here. If you can. Oh, you can't see him from there. Oh, well. Overwatch, then. Actually, no, you're going to reload, because you can't uh, do ready. much else this turn anyway. Hunter, you can see him, but you need to heal her. So you're going to move over one tile, and you're going to use a heal. There we go. Four health back Don't to Becker. Thank fine. you very much. Kraus can see it, Reynolds can see it. Reynolds, take the shot. Kill him, please. 88% chance to hit. Kill that guy dead. There we go. That's what we wanted. Dead enemies. Kraus, you're gonna come over this way. We're gonna come up the left-hand side here. This is looking pretty solid. We need to reload a lot of our players, though, so we're gonna spend a little while doing that. Patil, you're gonna overwatch. You're still one for all in. <coughs> that's fine. Apparently there's still chrysalids running around, I don't know where. They might have been way back at spawn. They might have been way back over here. And we just never triggered them. But uh, if that's where they are, that's too bad, because we're not going back. So, let's see, what's up here? Anybody else need ammo? I think so. Klaus, you're going to run up here. On the move. Still nothing. There's still poison in the air, so that's not great anyway. Becker, you're going to come up as well. You're going to join us up here. Yes, Commander. We should be pretty well safe at this point. Until we go through the next doorway. I think we've cleared out everything in this zone. So, Patil, you're going to rush up this way too. Oh. There we go. Turn off the one for all bonus and get up there. Good, good. Hunter does need some ammo, so I'll move... Come on now. I'll move him over here. There we go. You can reload. Want to have full ammo when we get in the next room, because you never know what you're going to have to fight there. And Shapira, you're coming up as well. Get there, Mac. There we go. And Reynolds, you're going to want to reload soon, too. But for now, I'm going to make you run, because otherwise you'd be left behind. There we go. And Klaus, you're going to come up to the front lines. There we go. The smoke should dissipate this turn, so we'll be able to get up there. There we go. There's more enemies ahead, but we knew there would be. Still chrysalis running around. This is the little thin, tiny area, isn't it? No, this looks like it's leading into the final zone. Alright, we're pushing through here. We're getting to the end. I guess we're going to push up to the doorway. Klaus, you're going to run over this way. There you are. Becker, you're going to move over to position as well for the breaching charge. There you go. We're going to send Patil as well. We'll probably be able to get everyone ready, but I want to be able to reload my sniper before anything else happens. So I don't know if we'll be pushing through this turn or if we'll wait another one. I want to be ready for whatever we might find there for sure. Hunter, you're going to stand in the middle. And Shapira, you're going to stand over there. There. One problem that we may have is that we, the uh, the what was the word I'm looking for? The enemies that we're about to face, the sectoid commander. If he mind controls one of our whoa, interesting camera movement there. <laughs> if the sectoid commander mind controls us, we could be in some trouble. Why is the camera looking over there still? Are they gonna attack us or, or are they just running forever? For this turn, I'm gonna Overwatch because I want to reload first. So we're gonna make sure everyone has maximum ammo before we open this door. Reload, and reload. There we go, Reynolds. Reloaded. I feel like there's chrysalids following us, and they're going to attack us at some point, but I don't know if that's ever going to actually happen. I don't think we're alone out here. Alright, op open the door. 
What's out here? This is the little room, right? Yeah, there's nothing here. Alright. There's nothing in this antechamber, so we're just gonna book it ahead to the Let's next door. Do this. Get over there, guys. This is where things get real. This is where things get very real. Get, get in there, Mac. Get in there, Mac. This is a, a long episode, though. I might need to go get myself a drink, because my throat is drying up. We've been killing aliens for so already long that I can hardly speak anymore. Get back in there, Becker. I had a drink already, but I drank it all, unfortunately, so I gotta get some more. Get in there. Still, get in there. I'm really glad I brought all those medkits, because otherwise Becker would be dead right now. That's why we bring him. There you go, Disco. And the Hunter, you're gonna come in here as well. There we go. And last but not least, it's Reynolds. There you go. We have one more uh, battle scanner I might want to throw, too. I wish I knew where those chrysalid sounds were coming from, really. I don't see anything, though. Anyway, I'm going to go get my drink of water, because otherwise it's going to be hard for me to finish this. And I will be right back in a second. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back, and then we'll be able to keep going. That's much better. All right, let's open this door and see what's inside. Go for it, Shapira. What do you see? Nothing. All right, let's get in here then. Moving. Move into cover. What do you see? Still nothing. Okay. In that case, we'll take Kraus. We'll move you into further in cover. Do you see anything? That is unfortunately a dash, but that's fine. We're not going to move super far in this turn anyway. This wall is probably going to block off, or this ramp is going to block off most of what we could potentially be seeing. We're going to go around the left side here and see if we can't get the drop on that. There's probably enemies on one of these sides. It doesn't matter if we pick the wrong one. As long as we were able to uh, Moving. take them out before they get a chance to do much to us. So that's what we're going to try and do. Hunter, you're going to overwatch from there. Shapira, you're going to move in a little bit further, just to there. Okay. And we'll take one more move with Reynolds. I'm not too worried about being in cover right now, because since we can't see any enemies, it's not like it's likely for us to be attacked this turn. So we're going to be fine. Yep, there are enemies on the left-hand side, so I guess we picked the right one to go for. We'll send... Uh, oh, I can't get to cover from here, really? That's annoying. Um, I guess I'll send... Patil around the corner first. That's what do you see, Patil? Uh oh, chrysalids and drones. Okay. The chrysalids are definitely the more important threat, but you can just flamethrower them and it's going to do most of the damage we need to do. The drones are a little bit dangerous, but we should be able to deal with them with the rest of the squads. That should be fine. Get the flamethrower ready. Burn those suckers. Six damage, six damage. Chrysalids panic. They're probably going to run back. Yeah, that's fine though. What are you doing? You're running back. You went really far, wow. Uh, but yeah, that, that should make it a little bit easier to deal with. We'll send Becker around the corner. Becker, what do you see? You could flamethrower the other chrysalid there, but I don't think you'll get a turn on his turn anyway because he panicked. I kind of want to kill one of these drones. Go for the drone kill, Becker. And you missed. Fantastic. Alright, let's try something else then. Let's send Kraus. Krause, take your run and gun. You're going to run right over to here into cover, and then you're going to take a shot from there. Hopefully at the drone in the air. 99% chance to hit him. Only 59 to hit him. It's because he's flying, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe we've hit some flying target. Yeah. Mm, I want him dead, though. Kill him. 44% chance twice. He missed once. He hit him a second time. There we go. He went down. <laughs> he just dropped. Drops straight down. That's perfect. All right, Reynolds, you're going to come over this way. What do you see? You can see the one in the back. Good. I want you to try and kill the one in the back. 88% chance to hit, 45% chance to crit. He is dead as dinner. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Next up is Hunter's turn. Hunter, you're going to come around the corner as well, and you're going to take a shot at the chrysalid. Since he's all we can see at this point. There is another chrysalid around there somewhere, but he might not even come back this turn. No. That's another dead chrysalid. Very nice. Shapira, you're going to run right over Moving here. I'm not going to worry about overwatching this turn. If they get close enough to attack us with a chrysalid anyway, they're going to get a face full of shotgun. Second turn, moves forward again. He's going to... Oh, that was interesting. He didn't get shotgunned. I kind of expected Kraus to do the work there. All right. In that case, we're going to let Hunter do it. Hunter, shoot him. 
I want Hunter to level up if at all possible because I want him to get that extra health bonus on these healing people since he does that a lot. That Shapira, location. head forwards. You're gonna just chill out there. I'm not gonna move too, f too far forward this turn because most people are gonna reload Moving. anyway. And I want to keep up with uh, the rest of my squad. There you go, reload that. Becker, you're gonna come around here and you're gonna reload as well. I'm ready. There you go, Patil, you're gonna move up. So are I'm we getting that? Uh, yeah. That'll be fine for now. We're gonna overwatch here. We have to move around the fire, which is always interesting. Reynolds, you're gonna run over this way. You don't need to reload. You have plenty of uh, plenty of ammo. I throw a battle scanner over here. Are we gonna trigger the uh, encounter, or is this just gonna show us a little bit of what's ahead? Let's throw one anyway. Do I see him? No, it's because he's up on the dais. Alright, that's fine. Doesn't do us much good, but that's what that's not a big problem. Overwatch there, Shapira, and now we can just chill out here till next turn. So right now we're counting on his mind control failing. He's almost guaranteed to try and mind control us. And we're hoping that if he does mind control us, he doesn't mind control somebody important. Position now. We want to be able to do enough damage to him to kill him. We want to be able to get nice and close as well. So Krause, you're going to move right up to there. Affirmative. Moving out. We're going to try and get as close as we can before we trigger him, because we want to book it in there for that turn. Already there. Becker's going to move up. Everyone's going to move up so we can just charge in here as close as we can to him. Patil, you're going to move in as Go well. I think probably the worst person you could possibly mind control right now is uh, our assault. Because she's the one who has the gear needed to capture him, and if we're all clumped up like this, she also has close combat specialists, so if anyone around her tries to move, they're going to get shot. That would not be good. Overwatch there, Shapira. See what happens. He's not going to move. He's going to wait till we get to the beacon. Alright, Kraus, you're going to charge in there as far as you can. Book it in there. Hopefully get out of his line of sight. There's the sectoid commander. He jumped over the ledge this time. Okay. That alien is Last time I played this, he stayed in the background. It's it was much harder to hit him. Unlike anything we've previously encountered. That makes it much easier. I like how it shows the beacon, not the alien we've just looked at. Anyway, we're going to try and do some damage to him. We're actually going to use both of our mechs as cover this turn, I think. So we're going to send the tail into here and one for all with her. So if we use two pieces of cover here, I think we can actually get all of our people into cover. One for all. We take... Uh, not quite, maybe. We'll see. Moving Becker, you're going to come around here. You don't have one for all, that's right. Oops. Oh well. We should be able to get shots off with everybody anyway. We're going to take... Hunter over to there. Hunter's going to shoot. Hopefully you can hit. 29% chance, jeez. Right, he's on natural defense and he's in high cover. Maybe I'll use Becker to blow up his cover then. Collateral damage him. Yeah. Do that! That way we can do a lot more easy damage. Doesn't seem to actually blow up his cover though. That's disappointing. Uh, didn't actually do anything, did it? Turned into low cover. Alright, that's better than nothing. Take the damage, if we can hit him. We hit him! Two damage. Okay, that's good. Next up, we're going to, I think, put Reynolds up against there. So he can take a pretty decent shot from here. Go for the headshot. 58% chance to hit, 55% chance for the crit. Can you hit him? Yes, you can. Five damage. Very nice. If we can do another five damage to him, we'll have a pretty easy capture next turn, if we can get close enough. I think Cross can get close enough from there. And shoot at him. 39% chance to hit him. Can you do it? Yes, he has two health left. This is perfect. Now, as long as we actually capture him next turn, we should be fine. So you're going to end our turn. Just don't mind control my assault, please. Mind control failed. Oh, mind control succeeded. That's okay. At least it's just the heavy. And he didn't move either, so we should be able to capture him this turn. Kraus. This is your moment of glory. Get in there and capture that alien. Stun him. 80% chance to hit. Do it. Yes! Sector Commander stunned. That's a success. Captured their device. The aliens are running out of secrets. Operation Flying Knight was a success. Begin the research as soon as possible. 22 aliens captured this device. We should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively. I doubt losing it was part of their plan. That was pretty awesome. 
22 aliens dead, no operatives lost, we captured the commander, looking good. Let's get back to base. Then we're probably going to end the episode pretty much immediately after we get back to base, but still, that was a pretty awesome success. Yeah! Roger that, Voodoo 3-1. See you inside. Central left. This should give us that nice global panic reduction that we want. You're probably gonna get a bunch of sellable things out of that too. Something wrong, Doctor? Don't you think a victory celebration is a bit premature at this juncture? We just neutralized their central command. We've got no other alerts on the entire system. And we took out their leader. In my book, that's a win, Doctor. We didn't just take out their leader, we captured their leader. Of course, he's only stage one of leadership, but that's fine. That'll do for now. Back to base. Oh, that was a very satisfying battle. Complete. Probably gonna lose Becker for a while on sick leave, but that's okay. We might not have her for the Exalt mission though, and that'd be kind of disappointing. Commander, I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what is it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, Perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. Psychic power! Alright, well, that's good. We finally got the first story mission done. <laughs> we researched the hyperwave beacon as our next option. We've got a bunch of promotions there. Wow. Wow, she's wounded for nine days. Ouch, Becker. Alright, well, we're going to promote you. You get repair servos. Those are definitely what you're going to want, so you're not... Uh, Constantly taking that much damage. Pair servos are awesome. Batil, you are getting overdrive. This is an awesome ability. You can fire twice in a turn with it. Super good. It's like the same for all the other double turn ones. Hunter, you get deep pockets, which means that all your inventory items get an extra use because now there is a foundry upgrade that gives everyone two inventory slots. We'll be getting that soon, hopefully. So he'll keep deep pockets, giving himself an extra heal. And Shapira is also a major now, giving him will to survive, reducing all normal damage taken by two if in cover and not flanked. Makes him a lot harder to kill. Very nice. All right. With that said, to have a neck for here we are. alien subjects alive. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Please pass on my gratitude to our forces. Look at all this stuff. We got a hyperwave communication, we got access to plasma pistol research, we can interrogate the sectoid commander, we can do a drone autopsy, we've got the hyperwave beacon, we got the plasma pistol, an alien grenade, nine floater corpses, two thin men, four chrysalids, four drones, a sectoid commander captive, 83 illyrium, 91 alien alloys, 18 weapon fragments, 50 meld, an alien entertainment, alien food, 15 alien stasis tanks, four alien surgeries, three power sources, and two damaged foods, and two seeker X. <laughs> Lots of goods. Lots of goods. And panic decreased worldwide by one. Which means nobody touch, will be leaving us this month. Which is good. That's good news. Not a big panic decrease, but it's a pretty significant one. We're next going to go and sell off all our stuff, and then we'll start again next episode. How much money do we make? We sell off alien entertainment. We sell off alien foods. We sell off alien stasis tanks. We sell off alien surgeries. We sell the two damaged alien foods. There we go. And that's all the stuff we've gotten that is just designed to be sold. The power sources are there to keep, of course. I think everything else is good enough to hold on to for now, but look at that! 357 credits! Yes, please! Definitely taking those. Complete those transactions. Ching! There we go. The 360. That's pretty awesome. We're going to get more in a minute, too, because we're going to get more satellites up, and then it's going to be a monthly report. Co-op covert, covert op first, though. 
But before we can do anything else, we have to end this episode here, because this is a long one. This has been Vanguard of Valor, taking down the alien base and XCOM Enemy Within. If you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Thank you again very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye